guys, today I'm going to show you uh, a couple different ways you can clean your point cloud with Register 360. So I've got uh, Register 360 uh, pulled up here with, with this um, house I, I've scanned around. Um, everything is already registered together. Um, and, and there's a couple different ways you can clean. Uh, the, the first way is uh, you can clean in, in the bundle cloud. So if, if you go into the bundle cloud, you can um, select something with your fence tool, uh, like this. Uh, the points will be highlighted, and then um, you have a couple different options uh, down here. Uh, the, the first checkbox is you can, you can edit the, the visual points. So the visual points will be um, everything that you, you would typically think of when you're, you're cleaning a point cloud. It'll delete these points out of the cloud, um, out of each setup, and um, they're, they're just gone. The, if you want to edit the cloud to cloud points, you can, you can choose this option, and uh, this won't actually delete the points. It will just um, delete the points and, and disregard them for the cloud to cloud registration. So um, if you wanted to delete all the trees um, because the trees give um, poor, poor registration results because they're uh, not stable, you could delete them um, and it would uh, ignore the trees for the registration. But then after the registration is done, you would still have the trees if you wanted to do a fly through with, with the trees and everything like that. So um, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm going to cut these points out, just the, the visual points. So uh, over here you have two different options. You can either delete inside or delete outside. And I'm going to delete inside that box that I made. And it's going to cut those points out. Um, the, the other way you can cut points out is in the setup cloud. So um, when I was in the bundle cloud, it deleted those points um, no matter what setup they came from. Every, every setup that got a point there, it, it has deleted. Uh, if, you, if you view the cloud from the setup cloud, you're only seeing points from this particular setup. So um, you, can, you can delete points um, with this. Let me just uh, create a quick polygon on the ground here. Um, I can clip those out. Um, from, from this point of view, these, these points will be gone. Um, but if you go into the bundle cloud, you'll notice that there, there is still points in that location because there, this station uh, has also seen that location. So it, it only deleted the points from this particular station. The, the, um, the advantage to using uh, the, the setup cloud is that you will always have a, a blank background behind uh, the points that you see. Um, so if you're if you're editing in the bundle cloud, um, you're, you always have to make sure that the points that you clip have a have a background behind them. Um, in this case, if I wanted to clip this tree out, um, but I didn't want to clip this house out behind it, I would have to make sure to get this in a position where the, there's uh, a clear background behind it. Because if I were to create a square around this um, tree, it's also going to get everything behind that. If you go into the setup cloud, um, it's only going to see what it can see from this point. So uh, I can see the house a little bit back here, but up here where you can see the tree, there's, there's going to be nothing behind these points right here. Uh, so that, that's uh, kind of helpful uh, to do more intricate cleaning. All right, uh, the, the last way that you can clean a cloud is when you're doing um, visual alignment. So if, I, if I'm doing visual alignment here, and uh, let's... If I'm doing a visual alignment on this, this link right here, 
and I can see that this this tree is is maybe um, keeping me from getting the result that I want. Uh, I can use my fence tool. And um, when you're in the visual alignment tool, you can only edit points for the cloud to cloud registration. So I can, I can delete inside um, and then I can run my um, alignment and, and hopefully this is, this is a better result because it, it doesn't have that, um, that, that tree information in there. Um, and then when you come back out, you'll notice that the tree is still there. So, um, but but that that data is not hindering uh, the results of that cloud to cloud registration. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind uh, for for cleaning a point cloud. Um, when you clean a point cloud in one version, it will also be cleaning it in every other version. So. It's, it's not specific just to the version that you're working on, so you need to be careful with that. Um, you can also, uh, the, in this version of Register 360, point cloud cleaning is, is not supported when you export to E57, PTX, and PTG. So you're gonna need to export PTS or, or Jetstream uh, to, to, uh, to maintain those cleared points. If you clean something that you uh, didn't mean to, or you want to get the original data back, it's always going to be saved. You can always uh, right click on your setup um, here, and here I'll, I'll show you. If I go to Bundle Cloud, um, and I clean, I'm going to delete everything outside of this box. So that, so that got rid of everything um, except for the house here. Uh, so if I was working with this and I realized that I wanted all my points back, um, you can always right click on any of the setups and say restore deleted points and it'll just bring them back. So uh, the points will always be saved. Uh, so there's no need to panic if, if something like that happens. All right, I hope this video uh, was helpful, kind of taught you how to clean up your cloud uh, and maybe get you a little bit better registration results. If you have any questions about this, uh, please feel free to let me know, shoot me an email, or leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.